Hey, what's up everyone? Lex here and uh, I'm in the car. Um, I just wanted to do this video really quick, unedited, uh, just straight through. Uh, about an hour ago, no, yeah, about an hour ago, um, I was driving home from dropping my son off from sc at school and I noticed like a thumping, you know, with the tires. And so I get out and look and there's a screw in my tire, in my front passenger side tire. Now, a lot of you know the the difficulties I've had with tires recently. It's just been horrendous. Um, so I, I thought I better go take this to the tire shop. So I went to the tire shop. Turns out it wasn't that bad. The uh, screw didn't break through the, uh, the as I spit everywhere, didn't break through the tire, so it's fine. Uh, but just like the Super Mario All-Stars that I found, uh, I was over there, so I decided, let's check out the Salvation Army that's right across the street. And it uh, turns out they did have some stuff. Uh, nothing too great, but uh, I thought I'd show, show you anyway. So first off, we have Super Mario Bros. 3. Um, it's got significant label damage at the top, but um, I grabbed this because I know I can sell it. It's pretty good on the front, it's just the top is all shredded off and everything. But uh, I know I can flop or flip this around, flip flop, and uh, get some money back for this for the rest of what I bought. I bought all this. It was twelve twenty-five, I think, uh, two dollars each for the games. So there's that. We got. I always like getting the cases, so that's like an extra bonus for me. But uh, we got. Uh, I'll show you. There we go. Road Blaster. Uh, Road Blasters, plural. I actually have this game, but mine is uh, in rough shape. It's got some water damage on it. This is looking really good, though. So I'm going to swap this. I'm going to sell the other one I have with the Mario and hopefully make back what I uh, paid for everything today. So there's that. Next up, we have a game I've never heard of before, uh, uh, but it's by Data East, so I I'm not sure it's that great. It looks like an arcade hit, just like uh, Karate Champs. Uh, so there's uh, Karnov. No idea what it's about. I haven't looked it up yet. So I don't even know what I have right here. But again, $2. Didn't have it before. And I'm going for a complete collection of NES. So that was vital. And then we have uh, another case there. Uh, Untouchables. Which I think is like a $10, 10 to $15 game. Um, and I didn't have that yet. It's an okay condition. Uh, pretty good. Some light scratches on it and some light wear and tear up here as well. Back is okay. But uh, didn't have it yet. Haven't played it before, so I don't know what it's like. But uh, there's Untouchables. Add that to the collection. Um, I got this Nintendo RF cable. This was $2.25, so that's what made the $0.25 cents in the total. But uh, it's just, I, I don't come across these all the time, so I thought I better pick them up while I can in case I ever get an NES that doesn't have the hookups, so. Um, and then I have one more here. And before I show you this, uh, they had a few more games. They had Mickey Mouse Capades, which I already have, and mine is in better shape, so I didn't grab it, I left it there. They also had uh, Sonic 2 in the box, which, you know, you find everywhere. And, um... They had another Genesis title, but I'm, I'm kind of blanking on what it was. Oh, it was Joe Montana Sports Talk Football 93, and I was actually like, like hmm, maybe I'll grab that one because I don't have that complete in box yet. Uh, but like a diligent game hunter, I opened the case, and it was actually uh, Jeopardy Sports Edition, which I do have inside the case, which is a similar situation to what I have right here. Um, Sonic Spinball. Uh, case and I was actually kind of excited for this because I don't have this yet and um, yeah it is what it is but open the case up and there's no manual number one and it's WWF Raw in the case now I'm actually not too mad about this um, you know Raw is a fairly common game and I actually could have picked it up a while back with the case but I skipped it for three bucks so I got it for two bucks with no case, no manual, and uh, it's in it's in pretty good shape. But um, I really wish it was Sonic Spinball in the case instead. Uh, don't know why they were all mismatched, but they were. 
so yeah i got all that for 12.25 and uh, hope to make my money back with mario and road blasters and getting rid of those and adding some new games to my collection so i think i'm at 103 nes games now and uh yeah that's about it uh thanks for watching until next time see you